Hey guys, welcome back to another Euro Truck Save Editing video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Save Edit using Project DLM. Just get straight into it. If you want to head onto my website, it will be linked in the description. Hit Download Project DLM, and you have a download button here. Or if you check the Discord, you can head into the Project DLM channel and download the latest version here. Next, head into the TMP Save Edit section. There will be all these channels here. Have a look through the sections and see which save edit you want to add to your truck. In this video, I'll be adding the sun visor with the LEDs here. So I'm just going to download that also. After downloading both of these, if you want to head into your download folder and extract them both. Next, if you want to head into your truck here, and if you go ahead to make a new save, let's overwrite that now. So that's this main bind mods. Head back into your download folder. Head over to the project DLM folder and head into project DLM. Head into save edits. Select your profile and select your save. So I call my mods, I'm loading that. Head into the truck editor. Since I am already in the truck I want to edit, it has automatically loaded them here. As it says on a Discord post, it wants us to use the import part feature on ALM. So if we hit import part, head to the downloads folder, I'm going to head to the save edit and I'm going to double click that here. I'm just going to hit save changes. Next, head back into the game, system, load game and load that save. So as you can see on the top of my truck now, I do in fact have the LED bar. I'm just going to show you the process again. It's the exact same thing, except I'll be doing a full truck this time. So there's a new electric scanner in the game. Let's say you want to own that since it's not currently possible. Just going to download the save edit for it here. It's going to head back into the game. And you need to make a new save. It is a requirement now for 1.50 as there is an issue with saves. So make sure you make a new save every single time. This one again, make a new save called mods, as I'm going to replace on this truck here. Now if we head back into Project DLM, make sure we select our save. Now I'm going to be replacing the truck I'm currently in here. And as it states by the post, it wants me to use the import full truck. So, I'm going to hit Import Full Truck. As we can see here, I forgot to extract the file. So, we're going to quickly head into our download folder. Make sure you extract the zip. Now, if I go back into Project DLM, Import Full Truck, we can see the Electric Scania folder now. And I'm just going to do Import Full Truck. Now, since this is the Electric Scania, you can't currently fuel that up in game. So in Project DLM, we do have an option in this option here to refill your truck at any time. Save changes. I'm going to head back into game here. I'm going to load the game, load the save. And now I can see I am in the electric Scania. There are other features in the LM, so you have the ability to select any of your trucks here. You can set that as your main truck. In this menu here, you have the ability to refuel your truck. You can change the engine of any of your trucks in your save. So let's say on the electric one here, you can have the Volvo 750 horsepower engine. Same thing for the transmission, you can select that from any truck you want. 
You can repair your truck anytime it's damaged here. And you also have the ability to export your full truck in case you want to share that with any of your friends. It's also the exact same process for trailer mods. So all the features are the same. You have the ability to import parts, import full trailers, which again, on the Discord here, any of the save edits will mention exactly what button you do need to press. If you do have any problems with the save edits, such as the game not loading, save edits not applying, make sure to head over to the ask for help section here. You'll need to obviously create a new post, give it a title, obviously explain your problem. Obviously once you post that here, the bot will ask you some questions. Make sure you do provide the game log, any screenshots, which is your game log will be here where it mentions in your documents you took folder. Just make sure you give that an upload and also we'll be able to look through that and be able to see what is wrong. With all that being said, thanks for watching.